This is Sinisha Mali, the powerful mayor of the Serbian capital of Belgrade and a close friend of the Prime Minister. In a country recovering from years of war and corrupt management, Mali prides himself on being a modern, progressive leader, someone different. He was even educated in the United States, receiving a master's degree from an elite university. But our reporters discovered a seemingly unknown side of Mali. They found documents that say that Mali is the director of offshore companies that secretly bought 24 luxury apartments on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast. The resort's website touts its six pools, two pool bars, cafe, piano bar, spa center, fitness center, eco parks, and 24-hour security with video surveillance. The apartments were purchased through companies in the British Virgin Islands, an offshore notorious for tax evasion, money laundering, and hiding the true beneficiaries of companies and assets. The apartments are valued at approximately $6.1 million. Given that Mali has never earned more than $39,000 in a year, his alleged ownership of the properties is baffling. The investigation has put a new level of scrutiny on Mali. He vehemently denies that he is the director of the offshore companies and says someone forged his signature. However, our reporters obtained a signature of Mali's from 2014, which bears many similarities to the one he claims was forged. Dragana Pecho is one of the journalists working on the story. He can find proofs to say that his signature is forged, or other other uh, graphologists could say that they do that they change a little bit their signatures in purpose. So one one day they can say that it's not their signature or that it's forged. Our reporters approached the mayor in person a few days after the revelation. The journalists were accosted by municipal police confiscated their cameras and tried to erase any footage of the encounter. Mali appeared in a video to make light of the accusations against him and mock the people who have criticized him on Twitter. Mali says a Bulgarian graphologist he hired confirmed that his signature was forged. The simple question still remains as to why anyone would forge Mali's signature. That's what our people from Serbia are uh, asking these days. Why somebody didn't forge my signature and bought me 5 million euros worth apartments and so on. If the allegations concerning Mali's Bulgarian apartments are true, then how did he obtain the apartments? A good place to look is Mali's earlier career, when he was an official at the Serbian State Agency for Privatization, a unique pattern of doing business developed. In 2003, Luke Oil, the Russian oil giant, made a bid to privatize a Serbian state gas company called Beo Petrol. A man named Sergin Dabić represented Luke Oil's interest in the deal. Under the supervision of Mali's department, Luke Oil successfully completed the deal for $134 million. However, a Serbian anti-corruption council called the deal crooked. It said Luke Oil, instead of investing in Bayo Petrol as promised, actually borrowed money from the Serbian company, almost equal to the amount it spent. Back to those luxury apartments, after the sale was completed, Dabić, Mali's counterpart in the deal, sold or transferred control of the luxury apartments to the companies of which Mali is listed as the director. And that's not all. Our reporters found other troubling examples where Mali used his tenure at the privatization agency to enrich himself. And almost a decade later, Sinisha Mali would become one of the most powerful politicians in the country, not so much a laughing matter for the people of Serbia. Oh.